Tempo preschool video offers the perfect entertainment for the under fives. There's tales with unexpected twists and lots of fun in Not Now Bernard and Other Stories by David McKee. And I Want a Cat and Other Stories by Tony Ross includes the best-selling toddler classic I Want My Potty and Super Duper Jezebel. There's lots of fun for all the family. Sing along to all your favourite rhymes with Tempo's very own Golden Treasury of Nursery Rhymes. There's lots of favourite friends in the six stories featured on the Mr. Men and Little Miss video. Meet the Junglies and join Tyrone Tiger on his first day at school. Don't miss the world's most lovable puppy and his friends in Spot's first video and The Adventures of Spot. And learning can also be fun with Spot's alphabet and Spot learns to count, introducing basic educational concepts that any child can enjoy. Young Tom Pottage has difficulty coming to terms with his alphabet and counting, but Postman Pat is always ready to lend a hand. A timeless favourite with all children are the Paddington Bear stories, written by Michael Bond and narrated by Sir Michael Horton. Bump the Baby Elephant features in these gentle stories, delightfully narrated by Simon Cadell. And perfect for pre-bedtime viewing are the tempo range of classic tales. The tales of Aesop are brought to life with delightful puppet animation and humorously narrated by Tom Baker. And Tell Me a Story includes well-loved stories told by Jan Francis. There's something for everyone with Tempo Video. Till master finds his fiddling stick, she'll 
dance without her shoe. Cock a doodle doo, my dame has found her shoe, and master's found his fiddling sticks in cock a doodle doo. Cock a doodle doo, my dame will dance with you, while master fiddles his fiddling stick for dame and doo. I had a little nut tree, nothing would it bear, but a silver nutmeg and a golden pear. The king of Spain's daughter came to visit me, and all for the sake of my little nut tree. Pussycat, where have you been? I've been up to London to look at the Queen. Pussycat, pussycat, what did you there? I frightened a little bird under her chair. As little Jenny Wren was sitting by the shed, she waggled with her tail. And nodded with her head. She waggled with her tail. And nodded with her head. As little Jenny Wren was sitting by the shed. Just out of town, said the cat to the dog. What do you think of the weather? I think, ma'am, the rain will come down. But don't be alarmed, for I've an umbrella that will shelter us both, said this amiable fellow. The man in the moon came tumbling down and asked his way to Norwich. He went by the south and burnt his mouth by sopping cold peas porridge. One misty, moisty morning when cloudy was the weather, I chanced to meet an old man dressed all in leather. He began to compliment and I began to grin. And how do you do? And how do you do? 
again Two little dicky birds sat upon a wall One named Peter One named Paul Fly away Peter Fly away Paul Come back Peter Come back Paul Bobby Shafto's gone to see Silver buckles on his knee He'll come back and marry me Bonnie Bobby Shafto Bobby Shafto's bright and fair Combing down his yellow hair He's my forever mare Bonnie Bobby Shafto Bobby Shafto's tall and slim He's always dressed so neat and trim The ladies they all peek at him Bonnie Bobby Shafto Bobby Shafto's getting a bear for to dandle in his arm. In his arms and on his knee, Bobby Shafto loves me. I had a little hobby horse and it was dapple grey Its head was made of pea straw, its tail was made of hay I sold it to an old woman for a copper groat And I'll not sing my song again without a brand new coat Wincy spider, 
climbing up the spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Then Incy Wincy Spider climbed the spout again. Hubbard went to the cupboard to get her poor dog a bone. But when she got there, the cupboard was bare, and so the poor doggy had none. She went to the baker's to buy him some bread, but when she came back, the poor dog was dead. She went to the joiner's to buy him a coffin, but when she came back, the poor dog was laughing. She took a clean dish to get him some tripe, but when she came back, he was smoking his pipe. She went to the fishmongers to buy him some fish, but when she came back he was licking the dish. She went to the alehouse to get him some beer, but when she came back the dog sat in a chair. She went to the tavern for white wine and red, but when she came back the dog stood on his head. She went to the hatters to buy him a hat, but when she came back he was feeding the cat. She went to the barbers to buy him a wig, but when she came back he was dancing a jig. She went to the fruiters to buy him some fruit, but when she came back he was playing the flute. She went to the tailors to buy him a coat, but when she came back he was riding a goat. She went to the cobblers to buy him some shoes, but when she came back he was reading the news. She went to the hosiers to buy him some hose, but when she came back he was dressed in his clothes. The dame made a curtsy, the dog made a bow, the dame said your servant, the dog said bow wow. Monday's child is fair of face, Tuesday's child is full of grace, Wednesday's child is full of woe. Thursday's child has far to go. Friday's child is loving and giving. Saturday's child works hard for its living. And the child that is born on the Sabbath day is good and kind and sweet and gay. Cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe. Get it done by half past two. Stitch it up and stitch it down, and I will give you half a crown. As I was going to St. Ives, I met a man with seven wives. Each wife had seven sacks, each sack had seven cats, each cat had seven kits, kits, cats, sacks and wives. How many were going to St. Ives? Jack, a plain-looking lad, he was not very good, nor yet very bad. She sent him to market, a live goose he bought. Here, mother says he, it will not go for naught. Jack's goose and gander grew very fond. They both eat together or swim in one pond. Jack found one morning, as I have been told, his goose had laid him an egg of pure gold. Beat 
Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper, where's the peck of pickled pepper Peter Piper picked? In a shower of rain He stepped in a puddle Right up to his middle And never went there again Hot cross buns Hot cross buns One a penny Two a penny Hot cross buns If you have no daughters, give them to your sons. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Shut, open and shut, open and shut The doors on the bus go open and shut All day long The people on the bus step in and out In and out, in and out The people on the bus step in and out All day long The driver on the bus says Move along please, move along please Move along please The driver on the bus says Move along please All day long The windows on the bus slide up and down Up and down, up and down Tucker sings for his supper. What shall we give? 
ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross To see a fine lady upon a white horse With rings on her fingers and bells on her toes She shall have music wherever she goes Dance to your daddy, my little laddie. Dance to your daddy, my little lamb. You shall have a fishy on a little dishy. You shall have a fishy when the boat comes in. Dance to your daddy, my little laddie. Dance to your daddy, my little lamb. Jack Spratt could eat no fat, his wife could eat no lean, and so between them both you see they licked the platter clean. A frog he would a wooing go, sing hey ho says Roly. A frog he would a wooing go. Whether his mother would let him or no With a roly-poly gammon and spinach Hey-ho, says Anthony Roly So off he marched with his opera hat Hey-ho, says Roly So off he marched with his opera hat And on the way he met with a rat With a roly-poly gammon and spinach Hey-ho, says Anthony Roly And when he came to Mouse's Hall Hey-ho, says Roly and when he came to Mouse's Hall, they gave a loud knock and they gave a loud call. With a roly-poly gammon and spinach, hey-ho, says Anthony Roly. Pray, Mrs. Mouse, are you within? Hey-ho, says Roly. Pray, Mrs. Mouse, are you within? Yes, kind sir, I am sitting to spin. With a roly-poly gammon and spinach, hey-ho, says Anthony Roly. Pray, Mrs. Mouse, will you give us some beer? Hey-ho, says Roly. Pray, Mrs. Mouse, will you give us some beer? For Froggy and I are fond of good cheer. With a roly-poly gammon and spinach, hey-ho, says Anthony Roly. Now while they all were a merry-making, hey-ho, says Roly. Now while they all were a merry-making, the cat and her kittens came tumbling in. With a roly-poly gammon and spinach, hey-ho, says Anthony Roly. The cat, she seized the rat by the crown, hey-ho, says Roly. The cat, she seized the rat by the crown. The kittens, they pulled the little mouse down. With a roly-poly gammon and spinach, hey-ho, says Anthony Roly. This put poor frog in a terrible fright. Hey-ho, says Roly. This put poor frog in a terrible fright. So he took up his hat and wished them good night. With a roly-poly gammon and spinach, hey-ho, says Anthony Roly. But as Froggy was crossing over a brook, hey ho, says Roly. But as Froggy was crossing over a brook, a lily white duck came and gobbled him up with a roly poly gammon and spinach. Hey ho, says Anthony Roly. So there was an end to one, two, and three. Hey ho, says Roly. So there was an end to one, two, and three. The rat, the mouse, and, and the, the little froggy with a roly poly gammon and spinach. Hey ho, says Anthony Roly.
The man in the moon came tumbling down and asked his way to Norwich. He went by the south and burnt his mouth by sopping cold peas porridge. Bobby Shafto's gone to see silver buckles on his knee. He'll come back and marry me, Bonnie Bobby Shafto. Bobby Shafto's bright and fair, combing down his yellow hair. He's my forever man, Bonnie Bobby Shafto. Bobby Shafto's tall and slim, he's always dressed so neat and trim. The ladies they all peek at him, Bonnie Bobby Shafto. Bobby Shafto's getting a bend for to dandle in his arm. In his arms and on his knee, Bobby Shafto loves me. Itsy wincy spider climbing up the spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun. And dried up all the rain. Then Incy Wincy Spider climbed the spout again. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper. Here, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper. Where's the peck of pickled pepper Peter Piper picked? <laughs> Dr. Foster went to Gloucester in a shower of rain. He stepped in a puddle right up to his middle and never went there again.